um, Islam and perception of Muslims. Okay, mm-hmm. so broadly speaking, so let's let's start that conversation. Well, um, can we actually start just with the the context for this conversation? Because I, you sure. know, I'm I'm very happy to be talking to you, and um, I think we will have a good conversation. But I'm not at all happy with how we arrived here together, and I think there's okay. something to be said about that because uh, viewers coming naively to this video won't understand, you know, the, the context for for this conversation. Um, you know, I, I, I think, and you, you, it's, not, it's not a surprise to you because we've communicated by email, but I think you've treated me really unfairly in the last few weeks. Mm-hmm. And I've come here to clean up this mess. And that, that, the structure of that conversation is an unfortunate one because I'm going to be saying a lot of things that are going to sound defensive. Right? I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm <clears throat> taking you know, the slime of a few people who you've had on your show before me off of me. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's, that's an unfortunate just context for any conversation because... Uh, one, I'm going to have to say some critical things about these people. These are people I don't actually want to talk about, like Reza Aslan and this guy C.J. Worlman, who you've had on your show. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it's also just, it, we're, and we're not going to talk about some of the interesting things we could talk about, like the book on consciousness and meditation and spirituality I just wrote. I mean, I, I doubt we're going to get to that. So mm-hmm. this is a this is a, there's an opportunity cost here imposed by the fact that there's a huge mess to clean up and mm-hmm. people should understand that that's the context right so that is your perception of it and hence we have our first disagreement uh, right. I don't agree with that okay so I think that the things that they said were number one people come on the show and say things mm-hmm. that I don't agree with all the time you will say things tonight that I don't agree with but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't have that conversation number two you have a perception of what they said that is not the same as mine Right, okay. you view it as totally unfair, but that's why we're going to have this conversation, right? Because right? I think it is fair. So, so let's let's okay. talk about it and see uh, where we come well, out. I, of it. There's a, a deeper point about a problem with journalism that I think uh, should be exposed here. Right. It's not because you, I think you, you and I have a different view about just how this game should be played. Uh, I'll give you an analogy. So, the, the website Salon has maybe half a dozen or a dozen articles on me that are just pure slander. I mean, they, they, they misrepresent my views. You know, one of these articles, one of the writers calls me a douchebag. I mean, these are, this is not journalism. This mm-hmm. is, these, are, these are just hit pieces that are on the, the, the website salon. Now, any naive reader of that website, they, they visit this website. It's one of the most trafficked websites on earth. They think, well, this is all journalistically sourced. There's an editorial policy that has made all of this kosher. Um, but the truth is, much of what you read on salon is just Maniacs in their bedrooms typing. I mean, it's not. This is not the New York Times. Now, well, some, now l- 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 would ask me to have you t- l- l- take l- l- this video off because you said that about them. No, well, let me. T- I'll, 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 you see I'll, what I'm saying? No, well, I'm. I'm. No, that's. It's, it's not a valid analogy. But we'll, we'll get there. So, okay. I, so when I communicate, so uh, th- this 